Hey guys, Kevin here and today we will be joined by Joash. Now this guy has been a regular contributor for the Modern Creatures and we've been together since we're children and while we both like cars, I think he likes them a little bit more. Thanks Kevin. <laughs> so this time we will be taking a look at the highly anticipated Suzuki Espresso AGS. Alright, sounds exciting. Let's go. Let's go. The Suzuki Espresso, a beloved and recognizable hatchback that has captured the hearts of many. With its affordable price and reliable performance, it has become a top choice in its segment. But now with the latest model, the Espresso has undergone exciting changes that will make it even more appealing. Taking a look at the exterior, the Espresso maintains its familiar and eye-catching fascia, with its signature stylish grille accompanied by halogen headlights. The side profile retains its familiar look and is still cute as ever, with its petite 14-inch wheels, compact size, and tall stance. This affordable hatchback is sure to catch people's attention as it glides through the streets. Shifting our focus to the rear, you'll notice that not much has changed, and it still proudly maintains its original trendy and sporty design. Along this, the inclusion of reverse sensors make reversing and maneuvering a simple task. Considering the car's affordable price, the lack of a reverse camera remains a minor drawback that we can easily overlook. After driving this for the past few days, a downside I noticed in owning an espresso is that you tend to get bullied. See those muscular and heavy SUVs out there? Well, they get impatient with you. They honk at you and they pick on the little guy. Well, you can't blame him. You're not intimidating anyone with this car. I mean, look at it. It's so cute. Even the horn sounds cute. Huh? Stepping inside the espresso, you'll be greeted with a surprisingly spacious cabin with cloth seats that are fairly comfortable and a quirky dashboard design adds a touch of personality. It houses a unique instrument cluster with a digital speedometer. The Espresso boasts an upgraded 7-inch infotainment system, complete with seamless support for both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as convenient steering wheel audio controls. And to top it all, the sound system is not bad at all. In an unconventional arrangement, the power window switches are uniquely positioned on the dashboard, just above the air conditioning controls. Beneath that, you'll find a 12-volt socket and a USB charging port. This car's interior is thoughtfully designed, offering a functional space with plenty of cubbies and storage compartments for all your essential items. Now what I love about this vehicle is its smart use of space. From the outside, it's compact, it's short, and it's narrow. But it all makes up in height. Now once you step inside, you'd be surprised with the amount of leg room and headroom. The seats are positioned high so that you don't need to stretch your legs all the way forward. Plus, it's high enough so that you can store luggage underneath the seats. Now even with the driver's seat pushed all the way back to its maximum position, you still have 
an adequate amount of legroom for the rear passengers and you can even stretch forward the seats are high enough for your foot to rest underneath trunk space has ample room for a large suitcase and comes equipped with a hard top lid that is usable as an additional storage shelf as well and if you need even more space you could just simply pop this off place it down here unlock the hinges it's quite big now we all know that the previous model of the suzuki espresso received a rather disappointing crash test rating which understandably deterred potential buyers however i'm happy to inform you that this issue has been addressed in the latest model the new espresso is now equipped with dual airbags seat belt tensioners stability control and hill start assist which we found quite useful in the hills of the night all of which contribute for a safer driving experience Additionally, it features ISOFIX attachments for further security and protection. These safety upgrades give drivers and passengers greater peace of mind on the road. Under the hood, the Espresso is powered by a new K10C three-cylinder engine with dual injectors and DVT that produces 66 horsepower and 89 newton meters of torque. Which may not sound much, but keep in mind that this is lighter than the Solario and therefore has better power to weight ratio. And you'd be surprised, it's no slouch. For the most significant update, Suzuki has finally introduced the Espresso with AGS Auto Gear Shift. This innovative feature functions as an automatic transmission while preserving the essence and mechanics of a traditional manual transmission. The AGS system automatically shifts gears and engages the clutch for you, eliminating the need for the third pedal, and makes driving a breeze. However, if you still yearn for that manual driving experience, you can always take control and manually shift gears, catering to the driver who prefers that tactile engagement with the transmission. Now, I would like to admit that it's not the smoothest driving experience. Apart from the fact that it's quite bouncy. It takes a few seconds for it to upshift or downshift and each time it does there's this sort of jolt. Since this is still technically a conventional manual transmission with auto gear shift AGS, it still needs to engage and disengage the clutch each time it changes gears and that's what's causing the sudden nudge. And I recently learned from a friend from Suzuki that in order for you to get a smoother driving experience, you have to treat uh, your gearbox as you would a manual transmission. And that is simply by releasing your foot off the throttle each time you feel that it, ha it has to change gears. Now this solved the problem. And it worked. However, I did notice that you have to be a bit more aggressive with your throttle input. If you have light feet like mine, the car tends to get confused on what you want it to do. It needs clear instructions so it can decide if you want to go faster, if you want to slow down, or if you want to stop so that it knows how much clutch you need and how to apply it. Another impressive aspect of the Espresso is its fuel economy. Now the Espresso is phenomenal when it comes to fuel efficiency. Now they say it can do 25 to 28 kilometers per liter. Now that's already hybrid car territory there. I've been driving this all day in Manila in heavy traffic and I was still getting 18.7 kilometers per liter. Now that's more than what I was expecting and it's not bad. Now we know this isn't your typical car you would want to take on your long road trips or you want to take around the track. For me, this is the ideal daily driver. And I do think everyone should have one. It's compact, it's easy to drive, you can weave through traffic easily, plus you get the best fuel mileage. With soaring gas prices, heavy traffic everywhere, and where commuting is a nightmare, owning an espresso just might be the most practical solution. 
And that's about it for this video. I want to thank Joash for, you know, getting into the nitty-gritty details about thank this you. vehicle. Yeah. You think you'll be getting this as your own vehicle if you have the budget? Well, I actually want one. <laughs> After driving this, uh, it's a win-win. You get uh, outrageous fuel efficiency. You have uh, great technology and plus it's so affordable. Yeah. And it's, even the interior, it's not, it's even spacious, right? Exactly, yes. You have a lot of headroom, legroom. By the way it looks, it looks small, but inside it's actually surprisingly roomy. All right, all right. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions or you want to add on, on our thoughts about this vehicle, leave a comment down below. And as always, visit our website, follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. I'm Joe Ash. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.